So it may not be the most exciting or even the easiest thing to do. It's not much of a tease there, but still staying on top of your financial situation is one of the most important things you can do. Today we're going to get some advice on sharpening your financial literacy. This is stuff that everybody can use. Our money expert Dustin Smith from Wealth Enhancement Group joins us live this morning. Hey, Dustin. Hi. Now you deal with folks, uh, your clients often are approaching or planning for retirement, but uh, a lot of times you tell us that, uh, you know, the financial literacy, as far as understanding terms and understanding what they're doing, like it's not always there, right? Correct. You know, for whatever reason, we have this weird assumption in our country that once you turn 18, you should just understand everything there is about personal finance. Right. <laughs> but, you know, unfortunately, this assumption has led a lot of people to feel embarrassed to ask questions because, once again, we just assume that everyone knows these things. But, you know, I, I just really encourage people to maybe take some time to try to replace that feeling of maybe embarrassment with curiosity because. Mm -hmm. If you're curious about your personal finance, now's a wonderful time to be alive. There's a ton of great information on the internet, such as websites like Investopedia or wonderful podcasts where you can really learn a lot. So look at your own financial situation. What are the most important things that you need to know? Sure. Where I, I always tell people to start off with a balance sheet. And what that is, is you just make a list of your assets and your liabilities. So what you have in checking, savings, maybe your 401k, for example, and then what type of debts you have, like your mortgage or car payments. But then take that a step further, all right? So the next step is then to look at those things and say, well, what type of interest rate am I getting? What type of rate of return am I getting? Or how much am I really paying on those, on my interest and my mortgage? Because those types of questions usually create more questions. And so it's a great place to start. Oh, are you there, Jason? Oh, sorry, yep, I just uh, didn't hear you there for a second, got a little Zoom issue. What, what sure. uh, when it comes to literacy and financial literacy, I think a lot of people think about the news, the news of the day. Uh, what advice do you have as far as like following that sort of financial uh, news and information? Sure. So if you're going to uh, spend your time watching the stock market, for example, on TV, I think it's, you know, it's good for entertainment value and you can pick up some things. But I would probably avoid that maybe to start with if you're new to these things. Right. right. And I would spend more time trying to understand just the principles like what is a mutual fund? What is a dividend or interest or how do taxes work? So start with the baseline principles and it'll take you very far. Yeah, we're not, we're not, none of us are predicting the market uh, out there <laughs> as much as we would love to try. Right. All right, Dustin Smith, the Wealth <laughs> Enhancement Group, thank you.